What's going on, everybody? It is Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet, and you are watching The One Man Show. It is Ben's day, my favorite day. I'm taking you along for the ride. I came into this trip with very low expectations, but boy, did we come away with some amazing items, brands I have never seen before. And I'll tell you what, you're never going to believe the second bolo featured in this video. Stay tuned. Let's get our bins fixed. This is one of the more exciting trips that I've taken recently, especially with all that's going on inside this location, I guess, internally with employees and management and all the all the nonsense that's going on in the background. But this was such a great, great tip. So I'm very excited to feature all of these things for you. Now, the first thing that I'm doing here is I'm going over the all of the picked over bins because the rotations have been just so super slow. So all of this really right now is kind of picked over. But this one right here, absolute no brainer. Polo Ralph Lauren, big pony hat, number three, beige in decent condition, like no no major issues on the exterior. This will be probably the easiest $25 I'll make in a good while. Those hats sell super consistent. I don't see a lot of beige ones in that exact uh, style, so that might help me stand out a little bit, which is great. The colorful ones sell probably for $30, $35, maybe even more. So definitely keep your eye out for that. Uh, Ralph Lauren does a tremendous job of targeting the middle class. And that brand is obviously a, a monster. And it's great for resale. So love the hats. Does not matter. Season does not matter. But this next one absolutely blows my mind. I'm going to try to pronounce it here. I think it's Vel Velberkin. It is a... Um, a uh, high designer brand. These shorts sell anywhere brand new from two to six hundred dollars. I have a triple X um, L, which is a which is another excellent size. They have octopus all over. I'm going to put the comps on the screen. That exact style just recently sold for a hundred and fifty dollars. That's exactly what I'm going to list those shorts for. I could not believe my eyes when I did the comps. Same thing here with these Sunspell boxers. These are, uh, this is a $30 bolo. The thing with, with underwear, you have to understand, you can't sell it pre-owned. So those have to be in new condition. And I looked briefly, I checked the like interior elastic, everything looked clean. Even the tag didn't look like it was laundered. Um, even though the, the boxers themselves look like they have been through a wash cycle, but you know, checking all of the other obvious spots for anything that will lead to an indication that they're pre-owned and then I can't list them. But if they look and feel brand new, like I think they are, it's a $30 bolo. So that was super exciting to find both the pair of trunks. And we're going to come back to that brand Sunspell towards the end because there's something that I didn't catch on film that I'm going to show you. So next here is another brand, again, that I've never seen before out of Italy, Massimo Alba. The style on this t-shirt is called the Panaria. If you go to their website, these are like $200 t-shirts brand new. So it's pocketed here. I think it's like watercolor dyed. I'm not exactly sure, but I have this one here. It's like a like a brick red color, maroonish, um, but I found two others as well. And I'll show you the colors again towards the end when I get home. Some of the stuff I caught on camera, some of it I did not. Believe it or not, I'm gonna list this and the other two for $65. Um, two hundred dollar T-shirt. Can you believe that? That's just mind blowing to me. But what a great find! And grabbing the two others, I mean, you can't really beat that. So a lot of brands this trip that I have never seen before, I've never heard before. I'm not my target market, so I'm not shopping at Neiman Marcus. But I'll sell to the Neiman Marcus crowd all day long. So hopefully you have learned something here. Because uh, I certainly did. So that was a nice uh, Brooks Brothers pullover, but I passed on that. And this is just me simply getting frustrated looking for a tag on the inside of this, uh, whatever that was. So I couldn't find it, passed on it. You'll see me do that again actually here before the video is over. Um, but look at this banger right here. So another Polo Ralph Lauren item, 100% cashmere cable knit sweater. It felt like, it felt seriously like butter in my hands. Um, an exact comp recently just sold for $100. Anytime you find 100% cashmere Polo Ralph Lauren, you gotta grab it. So I'll be listing that for $100. The season is right, the color is right. And even if you find a cashmere blend, like wool cashmere blend Polo Ralph Lauren, put it in your cart, because it is 
just a matter of time before it sells, but the timing couldn't be better for the style, for the color, and the, you know, the fact that it's a, a sweater. I mean, it just, you know, it's like raining diamonds in here today. It's amazing. So Upper Arlington, that's kind of like a local school there. There's no value on that Under Armour shirt. But so many things that I haven't seen before. The interesting thing about the location that we're shopping in today is they've really gotten rid of a lot of the clothes and moved the hard goods over to the clothing section. So a lot of the like you know clothing only sellers are not showing up as much as they normally would because of this change. And I don't know what's going on in the back, but so many more hard goods. And as always, if you see something that I passed up on, feel free to call it out. Um, let's share it with the uh, with the group here. And um, I don't catch everything, you know, I, I miss plenty of stuff. So, and there's room for everybody. This is a clarity phone right here. I think this is for like people that are hard of hearing. The base to that phone was actually there too, but the comparables, I couldn't make a decision on it. I wasn't really liking what I was seeing. And so I just, I left it behind. Could have been a bolo, um, you know, your mileage may vary. I love hometown shirts here. This is QFM 96 and um, homage shirt, homage. But I left that behind. I, I wasn't really willing to take a chance on that one for whatever reason. And I do pick up a lot of local stuff. But here's another one that I just couldn't believe. So Roller Rabbit. These are pajama bottoms. You can sell these pre-owned. If you go to Roller Rabbit's website, this pajama set, there's a top and a bottom. I think it sells for $110 retail. And it's completely sold out online. I did see a recent comparable sold for this top and this bottom that I think sold for $90. And so even though I couldn't find the top, these bottoms look like they're excellent. They're a large 34, 36. I'm going to list these for 40 bucks. I mean, it's definitely that that brand for pajamas is a bolo brand. I think you can get those at um, Bloomingdale's maybe. Um, you might be able to find that brand at Neiman Marcus as well. I'm not 100% sure there, but it's like everything we're touching here is, you know, turning out to be, a, you know, a 40, 50, 60 dollar item. Smithsonian Institution here. This was kind of a cool hoodie. It was on the lighter side, but I went into the solds and I even went into Terapeak and I just couldn't, I couldn't find anything consistent that would lead me to like pull the trigger on that garment. So I left that behind. It's a nice uh, Nike zip here, but it was really dirty. White is easy to, you know, get dirty. And it's possible I could have put it through the wash, but it just looked really kind of faded and I pass up on a lot of Ohio State stuff just because I see so much of it, but I'm going to bring you some Ohio State bolos in a future video because uh, I'm uh, I'm going to head uh, to uh, campus and do a little thrifting. So you're coming along for the ride for that. Make sure you are subscribed so that uh, you know when that video drops. Silver Tab Jeans, I love that brand, but too much damage on those pants, so I left them behind. And here we go again with these turtlenecks. Like I can't, I can't God, just get out of my way. If I can't find the tag... I uh, can't be bothered with it, so we'll pass that up. Ah, here's another, again, look at look at this, another brand that is totally foreign to me that I can't wait to share for you. So the name on this one is Missoni. Looks like this is another Italian brand, just a, your regular t-shirt. When I Google Lens this, the style here and the colorway is extremely popular. I saw that all of the things that were coming up in the search results, um, Polo, Ralph Lauren, all of the major brands making shirts in this sort of style with this colorway all slightly different from each other so this must be in style and i'm going to shoot for the stars on that one because i see some um orange tab missoni shirts selling for over a hundred dollars so i'm going high on that one i'm going to list that one for 125 dollars it was pristine clean and it's one of those garments where you know it when you kind of feel it and you touch it Part of the reason I don't wear gloves at the Goodwill bins is so that I can kind of feel the fabrics and, and uh, not to mention being able to do comps on my phone. It's too hard to do that when I do gloves. Shout out to Courtney at Bolo Buddies. I can almost guarantee you she would be picking this up. It's a 2018 Jurassic Park Jeep. I just know if she had come this trip, she would be grabbing this. And believe it or not, it's 20 to $25. There's great sold comps on this. So uh, if you are not familiar with Bolo Buddies, I'm going to link... Uh, her in the description. She just hit 23,000 subscribers and I can't really find anyone else who does more for the reselling community than Courtney does. So big shout out to you, buddy. Um, 
I'm sure we'll be doing another something or other here sooner or later. So a couple of things in my cart and then we're going to go home and take a rest, take a look at the rest of the items that um, I didn't grab. Can you believe Rule 25 t-shirts are a bolo? There are 67 currently listed and 77 have sold in the last 90 days. And oh, by the way, this exact shirt recently sold for $79.99. So that's what I'm going to list this for, $80. It was just unbelievable this trip. Um, so I wanted to show you that in the cart before we take off. But I've got a few other things I want to show you at home. Let's take a look at them. All right, so I picked up a Lacoste uh, classic fit short sleeve uh, polo shirt here. I don't normally pick this brand up, but it was clean. You know, it's authentic. It's probably a $20 shirt. It's a pretty like, I don't know, Caribbean blue color. I'm not exactly sure what the exact manufacturer's color is, but it's $20. So I picked that up. And again, just I, I normally pass up on a lot of Lacoste, but $20 on that one. Now the next shirt here, I featured this bolo before, but if you're not familiar with this brand, Grayson, this is a great shirt here. Um, this is a perfect size, size XL, and I'm gonna show you their logo on the back. I can't make this out. Is it like reindeers or moose? I'm not really sure, but this is a beautiful shirt in beautiful condition. And on the back here, the little Fox logo is rubber. So it's pretty cool. That's a good way to identify if you've got Grayson or enough, this has some brand, some golf club branding on the sleeve, but I don't think that that will have an effect on the value just based on the research that I did. Um, that's gonna be $50 there for that shirt. So that was a good find here. Don't get too excited about this. I'm not even sure why. I, actually, I know why I kept this because I forgot it was in my cart and I, that happens often. So it's a hee haw shirt. It's a size XL. I mean, I'll probably push this to $15, but I'm not exactly uh, excited about that. And I don't think that that's necessarily a bolo, but it ended up in my cart and I just forgot to take it out. So cute enough, $15 on that. The next one, this is a big surprise. So I didn't know that this was authentic. And this is another one that I probably almost was going to take out of my cart because I wasn't sure about it. But the brand here is Trunk. And this is a uh, an authentic Grateful Dead shirt right here. So there's some embroidery on the bottom here and you can see obviously the sheriff the skull with the rose trunk this is going to end up being a 70 dollars t-shirt right here trunk grateful dead shirts sell for a very high dollar amount and i'm just learning this for the first time so i'm just passing the information along to you but i'm gonna get that listed for 70 dollars. that was unbelievable here are the um, massimo alba shirts so there's uh i think this is gray gray or green the red one and then um, an orange one as well. So you saw those 65 on each of those. And then I've got a Sunspell um, 2XL t-shirt right here made in England. Really pretty color. Um, I'm gonna list this t-shirt for $35. I'll have the comps on the screen for you. You saw all three of those. You saw all of those shirts here. Next. I have um, B. Kleiman pillowcase here. Now I've sold a few of uh, these t-shirts before, but I think I'm going to price this one and you'll see some $15 comps, uh, maybe some 20, $30 ones here. I'm gonna put $20 on this just cause it's a single pillowcase. I may even just toss it in the wash, although I look, I think it's in pretty decent condition. So this was a good find because it's super light. So it really didn't cost me much. $20 on that. And I found a pair of Chaco Chacos. This brand simply does not perform well for me. So I'm not even sure why I picked these up, especially the time of year that this video is listed or the time that I sourced these. But, and I have to throw them in the wash still. I, I can't see myself getting any more than $20 for those. And that might even be a stretch. They're in, they're in fine condition. They just need to be washed. So you saw the hat, you saw the Jeep. I grabbed this um, Microsoft Office Home and Student 2007. Has the product key, has the uh, disc. And I'm thinking the most likely price for that uh, is going to be probably $15 as well. So I think that covers uh, all of the things that you didn't see that I sourced on this trip. Okay, I sourced a total of 16 items. My total listed value for everything is 
and ten dollars the best part about all of this is i only spent 27 dollars and 40 cents i hope you enjoyed that brendan here dad planet the one man show hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today and then always consider becoming a member of the dad planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time i upload a video to youtube but that's it that's all i've got for you thank you so much for tuning in we'll see you in the next one